right, here's how you write the Hello World program uh, using an external document class uh, in Flash ActionScript. So first of all, go over here to Flash, File, New, and we're going to start off with just a regular old Flash document, a .fla. ActionScript 3.0, okay, that's it. We're going to get organized at this point, so we will um, change our document size if we need to, um, adjust it to something that you that will work for your layout. I'm going to leave mine the way it is, the frame rate and all that. Uh, and then also, when you go to save it, file save as, and notice that we haven't really done anything to it yet, and that's fine. Uh, file save as. Uh, go ahead and save it someplace where it will be easy to find. We have to keep our files organized and together for these uh, types of projects to work. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as hello world. But before I hit save, I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop here, or wherever you want to make it. Uh, and I'll call it hello world demo external. So I made a folder to put all this in. And so that's going to be key because a lot of times we'll, we might be using uh, document classes that have similar names to other document classes. And so things will get confused. So we'll go ahead and call this hello world.fla and save it into a new folder. Save. So that was step one, creating our Flash document. Now we're going to move to step two, which is going to be to create a new kind of document that we haven't made before. Uh, file new, and this is called an Action Script 3.0 class. And this is just simply going to be basically a text file um, that will contain our programming script. Okay, so once we've done that, it immediately asks us for a name, and it calls this a what's called a class name. And if you remember from our discussion, uh, that that a class is basically a, a, a collection of instructions. To the computer, uh, you know, properties and properties and methods uh, by which the computer can accomplish whatever it is that you want it to accomplish. So, we'll go ahead and give it a class name. And this class name is actually very important. We want to use upper camel case, and so I'm going to call this main. Uh, just one word, so that's about it. Say okay. So here we go. We have our script up here. Now it opens it up in this new window. Whoops, that is um, uh, only contains the programming window here. There's no stage uh, in a script document. It also generated this code for us here um, automatically, which is kind of nice. And what it did is it created the, the package, the class, and the constructor function for us. Now, importantly, these names, the name of the class is main, and the name of the constructor function is also main. And so that's that name, you notice it's in black, which means it's something that we created. That name uh, is going to be what we use to uh, reference this file from our flash file. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. We could just go in and write this, uh, trace Hello world uh, semicolon there, and we would almost be done. But in order for Flash to really work in any way that we would expect, uh, we have to do an extra step, and that we that's that we have to go out and import um, certain functionality or certain classes from the Flash code. And the way we do that is in the package, we go up here, and the first thing we do is say import, which turns blue with a space, flash dot, also blue, display dot, also blue, upper camel case, movie, clip, semicolon. Uh, and that brings in the movie clip scripts into our package. The next thing we have to do is what's called extending that out for use in the actual program. This is an example of one of those cases where the computer needs two steps to do something that we would assume it would do in one step. 
Uh, and so here we go. And I'm going to put a just an extra space here so this is a little easier to see. Public, class, main, uh, right here. And then space after main extends. Movie clip, upper camel case. Now, just so we're on the same page here, just double check, package, all this stuff is in blue, you know, turn blue, except for our uh, class name, which was generated, which was main and main. Now when we're done, we save this. And we do this, we have to be very careful to save it into the same folder as our hello world.fla file. We also have to be very careful to make sure that the name of our AS file is exactly the same name as our class name here. So uppercase, upper camel case main here. Uh, and it's in the same folder, save as. So that was step two, which was go ahead and, and write the uh, uh, script. Step three is to go back to our, our flash document. I'm back in hello world.fla. And go over here to the Properties window, Properties tab. Go here where it says Class. And if this doesn't show up, you might have something selected on stage accidentally. Maybe just click around a little bit. Uh, properties, Class. And here we need to have the exact name of our .as file, which is yep, main, case sensitive, so uppercase. Now we need to make sure that we save our flash file. We've got here, save. Okay. Now we can test the movie. Command return. Here's our Swift, it's blank. Oh, the output panel opened up down here, and we've got Hello World. So that's the way you do the Hello World program uh, using an external document class. And we're going to be using external document classes for writing our programs, but being able to get those things to work correctly and to have everything organized and in the right place and named correctly is, is just, you know, I can't overstate how critical that is in order to get your programs to work. So, um, you know, practice that a few times and make sure that you remember all those steps. It's a little trickier than it looks. But once you get the hang of it, um, writing more compli complicated code will be a lot easier.